Welcome Libras and thank you for being here today. This is your yearly love message for the year 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the year ahead. So Libra, during the uh, pre-shuffle for your reading, um, I received a channeled message. Um, your channeled message was all about positive changes okay positive changes coming towards you as you um have a deeper understanding of yourself a deeper connection with divine spirit universe it almost feels as if you guys are on a path of enlightenment okay many of the things i feel that maybe um you may have seen it as a temptation or um you entered into temptation so for example if um you wanted to get healthy and you just weren't eating healthily um that would be kind of like something that you would needed to have used your willpower and resisted okay so i feel that for many of you balance is coming in obviously balance scales is all about you uh libras it's almost as if you need to balance balance things that basically uh, don't serve your highest good many of you there's something that's starting afresh a, a new beginning in something whoever you're connecting to i picked up libras that um uh, that this is your twin flame or your ultimate soulmate uh they do want something solid with you but they are um it's going to be slow it's going to be slow they're taking their time um, but they're solid, they're solid and grounded, but it's going to be slow coming forward, all right? If this is an existing person um, and they have been slow, I, th I feel like you're going to see um, something new. You're going to you're going to be enlightened um, for a new path. Uh, it's almost like your expansion of understanding is going to widen, okay? Um and I would say that many of you should probably just be aware that if you, your thoughts and feelings, um, just be careful not to temp be tempted um, to think the worst. Yeah, that's something I feel that you're being guided to use your willpower to resist. All right, let's see how this is connecting with your um, crowning messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me? Your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the year 2022? What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Okay, oh, we've got four cards. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got for you so the first card that's come out oh wisdom our spirit yeah uh, many of you are i feel that you're going through um this change this transformation something um that many of you are gaining wisdom enlightenment enlightenment and change that's really really positive the red coming in here it's something that is going to ground you okay so our, our spirit coming around you is providing you with wisdom enlightenment on the path um for 2022 and it could be um there i'm just getting um that it could be uh also to do with work to do with work or other aspects of your life maybe even your health i don't know why i'm getting that um but it feels as if you're being guided to know that you are going to be walking this year with a lot more wisdom all right Oh, Raven Spirit Truth. Yeah, many of you are going to see the truth about something. This is all really echoing this enlightenment um, that I was picking up in your channeled messages. It almost feels as if you're going to be seeing, oh, look, it's like walking in spirit and in truth with wisdom, with understanding. Yeah, many of you may get messages from Raven Spirit to show you the way to see the truth of the situation. And maybe for many of you, if you doubted whoever you're connecting with, are they the one for you? Maybe something new is going to, um, 
Something new is going to change that's going to enlighten you so that you can see the truth. I'm picking up that this person um, is solid. This, this person wants something solid with you, um, but they are slow to come forward. And that might be the realisation that you need to kind of accept um, and just give it time and maybe approach um the relationship in it from, from a different angle but many of you are going to see the truth all right where the truth was hidden or you didn't see it because you were having just one uh viewpoint of something you're going to see things from a different from a, from a different angle and then we've got in, um, rain, um rainbow waterfall miracles many of you this transformation we've seen this butterfly here and the wings of this um owl spirit um i feel that transformation something is changing for you libras okay and it's changing in a very very positive way it's almost as if you're going to be getting that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow okay um and it feels as if divine spirit universe is pouring out those miracles um those wonderments um very exciting time i'm picking up for you guys Miracles definitely coming your way for 2022. And we then have um, Pine Spirit Purification. Again, I feel that uh, many of you, whatever it is you've been manifesting, wishing upon that star, um, it's like um, you may need to go within and just almost cleanse yourself, cleanse your environment. Um, Pine Spirit is... Um, that beautiful scent, um, quite a pure um, essence. Uh, I feel with the pink uh, frock here, uh, universal love is almost as if the purity of the divinity that's within you is enlightening in you. It's showing you the way, it's showing you the truth, it's giving you wisdom, it's giving you knowledge. And I feel that many of you, um, if you're wishing upon a star, manifesting, praying about a situation, I feel that you're being guided to go within um and, and, and operate from a place that is pure, that is um, unrestricted, um, that is balanced, okay? Uh, many of you may need to perhaps have a look and see what you're, uh, what you're wishing and hoping and praying for. Maybe you need to change it up, look at things from a different perspective, all right? Um, so I feel that overall, um, Libras, for you, it's almost as if um, something is going to change in a very, very positive way. And it's going to be something that is going to be quite, I feel almost kind of life changing for you because many of you are going through a process of um, letting go an old way of thinking, making way for a new way of thinking um, that is, yeah, that is... Um, that is a different way of, of dealing with whoever you're connecting with. This purification also is about decluttering your mind, decluttering your home, clearing out what doesn't serve you so that you can make room for this wisdom, for the miracles, for the truth, you know, seeing things, decluttering your mind. And that may be um, the temptation or the willpower um, that I was seeing or resist, like resisting, um overthinking things resisting thinking the worst basically and then you will see almost like the miracle of what's in front of you and it could be any aspect of your life all right but the key thing is you're going to see the truth something new is coming in a new beginning um and it's almost like um yeah it's like the miracles are pouring in beautiful all right let's have a look and see what your crowning uh wisdom message is telling us okay Whoop. okay wow uh, that did not even wait so yeah this is this is almost like um being protected being protected um something is being birthed with those eggs okay um something new is being hatched and we saw that but it's almost like the the um the tree of life here is almost as if, um, 
yeah, it's almost like a, a new beginning that's coming through. It feels as if you're going to be seeing things again from another perspective, seeing that something is really, really quite precious. Um, I feel as if um, it's almost as if you're sheltered or the connection so those two eggs could be the divine connection between you and this person whoever you're thinking about because i did see that this is a twin flame or ultimate soulmate it's like it hasn't hatched yet it hasn't birthed um but it's being protected it's being sheltered from divine spirit universe it's almost as if that is the uh, tree of life it's unfolding in divine timing all right um the message that is attached with this card it says home is a it, home is a shelter from storms all sorts of storms so know that your uh, relationships um this year um may go through uh, the natural course of ebbs and flows okay but know that you are uh, protected you're 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 sheltered um you're looked after all right um yeah there's hope there's basically hope a new beginning uh you guys are being protected basically is what i'm getting here because of it's a divine connection mm. okay all right libras you're sheltered protected beautiful and it almost feels as if, uh, Libras, what I'm picking up is almost like, it almost feels as if this, I mean, the horse is, you know, mystical. There's something very mystical about the connection that you are thinking about. Very pr protected, very protected, sheltered. It's like Divine Spirit Universe is sheltering you both until this connection is ready to be birthed, if you know what I mean. Okay. Libras, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to um, other Libras. It also enables you to get those notifications when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all have a useful and meaningful message um, from this year's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the year 2022? What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra that I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. Libras, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle, if they come out on camera, I'll call them out for you. So we're going to do this formation slightly differently. The first row will be the first half of the year. The second year, the second half of the year will be the second row. And then we'll do a summary with the outcomes. So whoever you all, oh, okay, so whoever you are um, connecting with, with the devil card, I feel that they are going through quite a toxic time time okay and um, very very burdened something is really burdening this person all right i feel that they're going to have a breakthrough they may need to clear out um they may need to clear out or declutter their minds their home um almost uh, wipe the slate clean if that makes sense um with the mirror here they you may be reflecting um the burden, okay, or, or this person uh, sees you as, oh gosh, maybe part of the burden, uh, Libras, okay, but it feels that the two of you are reflecting each other, okay, you're reflecting each other in terms of the connection right now might be really burdensome, all right, and that's in sort of January, February, this person's going through some sort of, um, oh, heartbreak 
So this person is going through um, burdens of a heartbreak. Now, that heartbreak, I mean, Libra, you're popping up here. So either this person is heartbroken over you, all right, or feeling quite burdened by the connection, feeling that it's toxic in some way. They could be operating from their ego, from their pride, but it also could represent that they could be going through some sort of burden outside of this connection that is toxic, that is um, a burden for them. All right. And so if this person isn't coming forward um, or things have just gone like a stalemate, it feels as if many of you are going to see the truth. You're going to be enlightened that this person may be going through something outside of this connection that is impacting your relationship. And I feel that you guys are going to see this or un see it unfold right up until March. All right. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? With the um, Devil card, you could be dealing also with the Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. So Capricorn and Libra, you're coming up, uh, all right, either in your chart or their chart. Both of you may have Libra in your chart. My angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you tell me, how does these soulmates of Libra... So, thank you and thank you. So, on your side, I feel as if... Okay, so um, we've got the chariot that's coming up here. So, you could be dealing with a Cancerian or you could have Cancerian. I feel as if... Um, uh, I feel as if many of you, if you have broken up from this person or things aren't going the way that they have gone, um, there's two ways I read it. Either you are uh, recovering, okay, recovering over uh, deep, deep healing, all right, um, and you're having victory, victory, you're going to get victory over deep healing. But many of you, it might be this person that is going to come out victorious in about April. Um, yeah, I feel that I feel actually it's this person that's going to come out victorious after deep, deep healing, because with the chariot, it feels as if that's when they're going to rush in and come towards you. All right. Uh, the two of you may be in, in different locations, different backgrounds, um, at a distance from each other. Possibly you're definitely at a distance spiritually, but for some of you, you could be at a distance um, physically as well. So this it feels like this person is going through some sort of heartbreak, trauma, loss, bereavement. Uh, and I feel that you're going to see in April uh, when this person I feel comes towards you that they are they get they, they they're coming out of this this toxic kind of heartbreak energy. I feel that for many of you, you may have thought that um, or you may feel uh, there isn't balance in this connection. You may have felt that you were giving a lot into this connection and not reciprocating. I feel that that's going to change because there's victory after deep healing, particularly if you aren't aware of something else going on in this person's life. Uh, you may just make the assumption that they just don't want to be with you. Um, and that is where I feel you're going to be illuminated. You're going to be enlightened. So where you thought that this person wasn't given to this connection equally, I feel that that's going to be balanced out simply because they are going to be coming towards you um, victorious after deep healing. OK, you may also be um, victorious after deep healing, particularly if you feel that this person um either broke your heart by not giving to this connection, uh, the connection just fizzled out, all right? Uh, we've got Taurus and Cancer coming up here. But something is definitely going to be balanced out, uh, I would say, around May, May of 2022. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me, 
how does the soulmates of libra sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love this card wanted to come out yeah i feel that you want to build a future with this person with the ten of coins uh we've got virgo popping up here i feel that you want transformation a lot a lot of butterflies here uh you want to build a future with this person um and i feel there's either you want to build a future you want something that's balanced maybe you guys are healing um over heartbreak with this person who is also heartbroken the other way that i could read it is this person is going through some sort of heartbreak that is very toxic very burdensome to them outside of this connection coming towards you in about april um with victory having healed having gone through the healing process and um, given to this connection um equally because they also want to build a future with you all right let's have a look and see what your um clarifiers are saying all right my angel thank you oh wow so this person um i feel with the three of cups um it feels as if this is what well, it's, it's clarifying the devil card this person has either got a third person um that they are heartbroken about so it could be a past a, a relationship that they're in at the moment um that they have broken up with in january and that is the burden that is the toxicity uh it also could mean that this person has it could be something else it could be loss bereavement um but something is breaking this person's heart heart either it's another person or it's some sort of third party energy like loss or bereavement okay and that is what's 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 kind of toxic and i feel with the five of swords it could be another person okay because i feel as if they want to put this battle of communication um behind them they want to put the burden down uh, yeah so it is them it is them that's going through deep healing with the chariot coming up again so i feel that you're not going to hear from this person or you're not going to see this new new start or a new path or be enlightened to what's gone on with this person until april 2022 when they've gone through this deep healing all right so i feel that this person is basically either they're going through a breakup not with you so it feels as if you are connecting at libras with your twin flame ultimate soulmate but the connection really didn't take off so you've encountered this person they know you you know them but they may be involved with a karmic partner all right or they could be dealing with some sort of loss or bereavement this person is definitely going through some deep healing and they're going to come out victorious they're going to put down that burden and um they're going to go through that healing process my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does the soulmates of libra thank you and then we've got yeah and then they're coming in to clear something up with you with a page of swords um with those two little daggers here this is somebody speaking in spirit and in truth so when they do come towards you um i would say roughly around um april i feel as if uh whatever they come in and say whatever they come and clear up with you uh it's going to be in spirit in truth but i feel whilst all of this is going on they're still keeping an eye on you they're still observing you yeah maybe checking you up on social media checking you up keeping an eye on you so i feel that either this person feels as if you've cut them out or they've said something quite cutting to you in the past um that did that that led you to believe that this person wasn't in it equally with you all right um i feel as if um either they're coming in to speak some sort of truth to balance it out in a very firm way or this person if they felt that you cut them out uh i feel as if uh you're turning your back on that so you're going to be open to conversations uh, the two of you are missing each other i would say with the six of cups or you're certainly missing this person so this person may have cut you out basically whilst they were going through this 
And I feel that they're coming in ready to talk because that sword is down, ready to balance out um, this connection with you because I feel that they are on the same page. They want to build a future with you or you may want to build a future with you. And this time I would say around April, May uh, that they're coming in to have that conversation or they're taking steps towards you to have that conversation. All right. With the six of cups, the two of you have lived past lives together. And I would say that you're missing this person. You're missing their energy because you do want to build a future with this person. A sense of nostalgia. All right. And one more, please. How does the soulmates of Libra, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? For the year 2022 thank you and then we've got yeah so i feel that this person with the knight of wands um it could be you you know you may you may be a little bit uncertain or you may see that this person is a little bit uncertain about building a future with you um or it could be you we'll 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 see. Let me just pull one more just to see if it's you or them. Please, can you just clarify the Knight of Wands for me, please? For Libra. Please, can you clarify the Knight of Wands? Okay. You're giving me two cards here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I feel that it's them. It's them. So it feels as if this person is going to be unsure, uncertain, whether to fight for this connection with you, Libra. I feel that you're the energy coming in as the Empress. This person does think the world of you. They see you as long-term commitment. They know that you've got high standards. Um, they know that you're nurturing. Um, they see you, yeah, that they've got nothing, but I feel like this person's got a lot of respect for you, but that may they may be uncertain whether or not they should fight for this connection. And I feel that that's gonna be dependent on how you react to them when they come in and speak to you. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the second part of the year. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell thank you. Oh wow, there's you there, there's your energy again. So this person I would say um I would say that um, June, July, this person is is seeing you as this empress, seeing you as somebody um, that is really, really special. Um, I would say that they might, they may have thought, okay, that there was something toxic or not right with this connection with you at one point. Possibly because they were going through something they did, they weren't seeing clearly. They themselves could be going through a bit of an enlightenment okay but yes i would say july this person is is seeing you in a very very different light um libras let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of libra sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love the year 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally ment mentally and physically sorry i don't know why cards are not can't seem to shuffle what's their current energy thank you yeah they do see you in a different perspective they realize that you are their wish fulfillment I would say that what this person is going through, whatever heartache this person is going through, whether it's a karmic partner or a breakup um, or a third party energy like loss or bereavement, it almost feels as if the connection with you was too burdensome for them at the time of them going through whatever they were going through. But I would say from July, August, this person is seeing you in a very, very different light, very, very different light, having a lot of respect for you, seeing you as long term commitment marriage, seeing you as their wish fulfillment, because the two of you have lived many, many lives. This is really echoing this ultimate soulmate twin flame energy that I was picking up in your channel's message with the two cups here signifies 
your twin flame, ultimate soulmate. And I feel that this person will want to give to this connection equally. Could be dealing with Aquarius or you could have Aquarius. And this person, I feel that they, with the four of coins, this person can't get you out of their mind. Can't stop thinking about you. I would say that this person is thinking about you as they're going through um, this heartbreak of some sort lost bereavement karmic partner whatever it is and that explains why the page of swords is there this person is still keeping a tap on you all right they may be quiet but they're still keeping a tap on you and i feel as if they can't stop thinking about you they don't want to let you go you are in their heart you are in their mind they don't want to let you go again we've got uh capricorn coming up here Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does these soulmates? This connection is definitely protected, um, Libras. And it almost feels as if the ebbs and flows of life has delayed the two of you coming into union and i feel that you're being guided um to be pa to be patient to be honest with you particularly with that purification it's almost like clear out your mind of any thoughts try not to be tempted that this try not to fall into the temptation or the entrapment that this person is not interested in you and um yeah pick up your vibration cleanse that thinking because i feel many of you are going to see the truth that this person actually really does love you with the uh nine of coins this is your energy for sure yeah uh, i feel that this is when you're going to start going towards this person when you have this enlightenment that this person um is interested they love you they want to be with you all right um many of you are going to have that around um july august september october okay taking steps towards them with the nine of coins this is somebody that's uh, very wise very spiritual okay somebody that's very independent somebody that this person sees has created quite a decent environment um for themselves uh this is you being enlightened possibly some of you um uh coming out of healing if you felt that this person didn't love you or didn't want to be with you you're going to be enlightened in the second half of, of this year and so i feel that many of you are going to start taking steps towards this person yeah you want to you want to talk i feel that you're going to want to talk you're not sure how to initiate this conversation and many of you it's about balancing out this connection in some way we've got libra we've got your your symbol here and it's right above um the six of coins so you want balance yeah, you want something that is equal uh, and you want to talk about it. Not sure how to, but I feel that you're definitely going towards this person in more of a positive way. Oh, my gosh. And look, by December, uh, the, the nine of cups. It feels like the two of you are going to be celebrating, celebrating because it's like you're both going to be on the same page of building a future with each other. How beautiful. Do you know something, Libras, if this is resonating with you, this person is somebody that you know right here and right now. I would also say that I'm, I'm what I'm picking up the Christmas and the New Year. This person may have been real, real silent towards you. Minimal conversation. Um, do you know what? Hold faith. Hold faith because this person is going through something. This person is going through something that is extremely toxic but they are still keeping an eye on you i feel many of you are still keeping an eye on them because it's in the center of the reading hold faith because there's going to be a turnaround a miracle my angels and spirit guides oh thank you omg look at what's come out the lover's card so this person um, begins to see the connection for what it is this person is your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate, and it is covering the empress. It's you. 
But like I said, they're seeing you in a different light. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. Thank you. Yeah, they see you as their Ten of Cups. So it's like by December, you guys are like, uh, it's like this person is your ninth, your nine cups, your wish fulfillment, your happiness. For you, you complete them. You complete them. You are their ten cups. All right. And it's because they see you in a very different light. Their wish fulfillment. They they reckon I feel that this person recognized the spiritual connection between the two of you more than anything. And you never know, it might be even you. You it might be you, your essence, which helps them to heal, to come out victorious after deep healing. Because it feels as if they do want to come towards you, but a little bit nervous, a little bit uncertain, unsure whether to fight for this connection, but they will. By the second half of the year, they will, because they see you very, very differently. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? How does the... Thank you. So I feel with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel that this person, either they may come towards you um, with a, uh, or they want to come towards you with an olive branch, a peace offering, okay? Um, but I feel as if um, either they feel that the connection has ended and that might be why in um, July and um, June um, that they're kind of uncertain. I feel what has ended here, uh, what's end, because this is an ending. I feel that this ending oh, is either an ending or it's an, a, a delay. All right. Um, they may not know how you're feeling. Well, we know that you want to have a conversation, okay? And you're not quite sure how to have this conversation. So it feels as if um, June, July, August, September, this person is waking up to this connection in a very powerful way, but they're not sure how you're feeling about them. So there's a delay or they may feel that the connection has ended. Okay, so I feel with the Knight of Coins, um, I feel that this is their energy. It could be either of yours, actually. But the two of you, I would say, are quite solid, quite solid individuals. Um, very, very grounded, definitely ready for um, long term commitment. But you're I feel that I feel it's this person because I picked up that energy, somebody that's slow to action and the knight of coins is somebody that's slow to action. Um, I feel that this person either is just going to be slow to action, um, be a little bit um, stagnant still. Because I feel that they're not sure. They're not sure. They're thinking about you. They don't want to let you go. But it feels like they're not sure. They're not sure. Because you're coming towards them. You want to talk. You want to talk about something. Um, so it feels as if uh, this person is kind of like spiritually still unsure. Thinking that things might have ended between the two of you. Let's, let's clarify the rest. Now, I think it's got something to do with this conversation that you want to have, that you, you, you're you a bit not sure how to have it. My angels and spirit guides, please, can you clarify? How does these soulmates, thank you. Okay, so you're waiting, you're waiting, yeah, you're waiting to have a conversation. You're waiting to have a conversation. Let me see what the last is, and we might have to go back and just clarify this area a little bit, Libra. Okay, what's this? Okay, so you've got some sort of secret that you're keeping, and that is that you want to have a talk. You don't know how to initiate it. Many of you may have been healing from some sort. Okay, so you're conflicted about something. 
Okay, can we clarify, please, the uh, Ace of Wands in reverse? Please, can we clarify? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Okay, so this person is feeling victorious with you. They know that you are the person for them, but it feels as if they are unsure if the connection has ended. Please, can we clarify the uh, Knight of Coins in reverse, please? Thank you. Okay, so this person, I feel that they are, yeah, that this person is really analyzing, trying to, uh, I feel that they are stagnant, they're still, because they don't know how you feel about them, um, and I feel that they're trying to rest their monkey mind, heartbroken, um, that you may have ended something. Let's continue. I feel that uh, with the uh, King of Wands, you're waiting for this person to come towards you. Or you're not taking action towards them. Can we clarify the Seven of Swords, please? Either you are holding back coming towards this person, but notice Four Wands here. So you do see this person as marriage material, but... Either you're waiting for them to come towards you to talk, but I see you going towards them. Or are you going to give them some sort of indication? Yeah, look at that. We've got the Two of Swords again. The Two of Swords in reverse. You're keeping secret of something. You want to talk about something with this person. You do want to talk about something with this person. With the Two of Swords coming out in reverse. Um, okay, so many of you may be fearing or you may feel some sort of conflict. Confused. You may be confused what this person is wanting. Please can we clarify the um, five of wands? Please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify the five of wands? Do you know something, uh, Libra? You know your channeled message said, be careful or, or try not to be tempted in... Um, have the willpower to ju basically just don't fall into any entrapments of overthinking or um, just be mindful of your thinking. Do you know something? You may, um, yeah, you, you, I look, you see this person's long term commitment marriage, but you're conflicted. It's almost as if you're asking this, it's almost as if you may go to this person and just be like, well, what's the next stage? Like, what is it you want? What is it like you want for, for us? This person sees you as victory, sees you as long-term commitment, marriage. But I feel that, I mean, there's a lot of reversals here. I feel many of you are overwhelmed. Um... There may have been a lot of silent treatment between the two of you whilst all of this was kind of going on. And I feel that it's like you may feel as if, well, OK, you're coming back round, but what's your intention? What's your intention? There's definitely going to be happiness in December, but you're going to feel conflicted like this is really great. But like, are we going to be moving to the long? Are we going to go the long haul? We're gonna let me let me pull a couple more. Uh, where shall we do it from? Shall we do it from November, December? I think that should be all right to get a, an idea. So this person, okay, you're the one that's taking action towards this person. You're waiting for the right opportunity to take action to this person to speak something. And December, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you uh, give me more information for December 2022? I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good. Oh, thank you. 
Okay, they've given me three cards. Look, look at this. We've we've got it. You've got the Ten of Cups, but you're unbalanced. So do you know what? It feels as if, Libra, you're going to be like, look, this is really great that we're getting back on track. But you may want to have the hard conversation like, are we going full throttle? Are we, are we committing to each other? Are we exclusive? Like, uh, what are we basically? That's what I feel that's going on. But this person makes you happy. They make you happy. They are your wish fulfillment. The 10 and the 10, uh, something is completing out and something new is starting. But the two of you are each, each other's 10th cup. But many of you, I feel that you, it's time. It's time for you to get clarity. You're going to be like, I want clarity. Are we moving things? Are, is the, are you seeing us as long-term commitment? You seeing us as marriage? Are we going to endure? And I feel that many of you want to have that conversation, but you're uncertain uncertain how to have that conversation because i feel that this person is your wish fulfillment your happiness but you don't it's like you don't want to get your hopes up you don't want to get your hopes up and i feel that this person is going to feel that you're not interested because you may be quiet for a while that's why we will see in all the swords so it may be you that goes silent on this person that's why they're unsure whether or not things have ended with you or they, the victory that they feel it has ended. Got it, right? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides, please can you uh, clarify uh, the last three cards, Pauls? Thank you. Please clarify. How does these soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? for 2022 yeah you guys want transformation you don't want to be unbalanced wow yeah you want this you're taking action for this new beginning but it's like you want this new beginning you just want to be quite sure that the two of you are basically on the same page. You want long-term commitment, marriage. I think they do as well, but you may want to uh, speak about it. Like you, like your each other's happiness, fulfillment, but it's like you want clarity. Look, are we exclusive? Are we on the same page? Are we going in this direction? Uh, so with the justice, yeah, you don't want any corruption. I feel that many of you, um, Libra, this is your energy. Uh, you want balance. Didn't I say you want balance? You want balance. You want reconciliation. You want everything that this person wants, but you don't want it to be corrupted. You don't want any toxicity. You don't want to get your hopes up in case this person pulls back their energy again. So yes, you want this new beginning, but you want to talk about it. You want to make sure that nothing is going to corrupt it. Like, are we on the same page? That's what's going on here. Let's just finish clarifying it and then we'll quickly do your outcomes because I think we're going over time a little bit. And then we've got, yeah, so yeah, with the um, with the uh, four of um, six of coins, sorry, it almost feels as if you're not going to give to this connection. Is that you're not going to give to this connection if this person basically is just wasting your time. Six, seven, eight. And there, there's the two of coins again. Six, seven, eight. That's what I was counting. It's almost as if you're going to go in another direction. It's like you want to reconcile more than anything with this person because you see them as your wish fulfillment. Um... You see them as happiness, long-term commitment. But bottom line is, uh, Libra, you don't want to waste your time if this person isn't serious about you. That's what's coming out here. And kudos to you. Let's have a look and see what your outcome is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me the outcome? Thank you. So summary. Okay, so this person, uh, they know that, that a, lot of, um, a lot of seeds have been planted in this connection but they're sad 
okay uh it's possibly that, that it could be another person heartache but it also could be you they know that that pentacle is there but they don't know what to do could be dealing with the taurus or you could have taurus but they know a lot of work has gone into this connection thank you yeah they want a new beginning they want a new beginning that is solid that's grounded it's just like they want to put the past behind them of what's kicking off in january february march thank you yeah this person is moving out of fear so if they feared this connection overwhelmed from this connection they're seeing you from a very different perspective um could be dealing with uh pisces or you could have pisces uh scorpio is popping out of the water here but i feel that this person um is seeing things from it going through an enlightenment um but it's right at the center of the reading so both of you are being enlightened to this connection both being enlightened to the path um with each other yeah moving from fear almost a transformation being enlightened enlightened being transformed the connection being transformed my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me the outcome please can you tell me the outcome to the question how does the soulmates of libra sun moon rising and venus thank you so we have got okay so i feel many of you are going to be manifesting and waiting manifesting waiting hoping wishing praying okay uh oh wow the four of uh wands so this person uh sees you oh okay they're telling me no put it up here because it's part of this line um so i feel that you're manifesting long-term commitment marriage material but because these are two bonus cards i feel that um both of you both of you see this connection as long-term commitment marriage material material and both of you i feel are going to fight for it uh we've got aries popping out here and we've got leo all right um let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you give me the tell me the in-depth outcome please thank you this person is thinking about you can't stop thinking about you if that toxic energy in january um is a, a karmic partner yeah they tried um they tried getting involved with somebody else um it doesn't compare you and i compare to you they're thinking wishing hoping about you all right um happy thoughts uh, again cancer popping up here all right let's continue so they know that, that a lot of energy, uh, a lot of seeds have been planted in this connection. And I feel that they have fond memories. They reminisce, they reminisce, they reminisce, thinking about you, wanting this new beginning. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your in-depth outcome cards to the question, how does... Please, can you tell me the in-depth outcome? So this person, I feel as if they're, this person, I feel with, um, this is temperance. This person is trying to balance out their emotions. Temperance, they are trying to, yeah, balance things out. Be patient, be patient for this new beginning. Yeah, do you know something? Look at that right in the center of the reading. What comes out of the darkness into the light is the two of you are each other's twin flame. Ultimate soulmates, yeah. So this person is going to be patient for this new beginning, trying to balance out their emotions, basically clearing out whatever this heartache is. Look at that. The Ace of Cups, unconditional love between the two of you. Many of you may be um, manifesting answers. Is this, uh, you know, manifesting this new beginning based on love? But do you know what? Uh, with that right next to um, the Two of Cups, uh, this is two souls that love each other unconditionally. It's reflecting. The two of you reflect each other. Three cups here. Um, the, you and this person want to be around each other, get to know each other, celebrate this connection. Many of you are manifesting a new beginning just based on just pure love. And I feel that you've got it. You've got it. And that's the miracle. That's the truth. A lot of truths being revealed here. A lot of truths about this connection. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please. Can, oh, thank you. 
So I feel as if, I, okay, with the uh, Queen of Wands, uh, Libra, male or female, I feel that's you. You're waiting. You're waiting. When is it to take action? A little bit uncertain, but you're ready to put the work in. All right. Virgo coming up strongly here. Any more? Yeah, I feel that you guys are just waiting. You are uh, waiting, feeling a little bit nervous. I would say a little bit uncertain whether or not this person is going to put into this connection. It's like you're waiting, 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 waiting. You know that 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 um, it's like you're waiting for um the uh the seeds that you had sown in this connection. You're waiting to reap the rewards. Final outcome is the world card. Yeah, this person wants change. And I feel that this is divine intervention bringing in change. Again, the miracle coming in. This person definitely wants to go on a new journey. And what I love about this card, can you see the fool is going on a new journey? Uh, they want change. And the little dog is almost looking back at us saying, are you coming? Are you coming with us? Yeah, that's what they want. That's what they want. Be impatient to see if you're going to come on that journey with them. Thank you and thank you. Wow, look at this. <laughs> the lover's card. I mean, this is like a twin flame reading, for heaven's sake. This person, okay, so they know that seeds have been planted. Um, it didn't reap the rewards that it wanted, but they have fond memories. They may have got involved with other people. They have fond memories thinking about you. Nobody compares to you. They want change. They want to go in a new direction. They're looking back thinking, are you coming with me? Um, uh, I feel that they want a new beginning. They're being patient to balance out their emotions um, because they see you as their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate. At the center of the reading, um, um, whatever is in the dark is coming into the light. And that is that the, you both see each other as each other's divine counterpart. And you both want a new start, a new beginning. Okay. Both of you offering that olive branch. Let's continue. Uh, you could be, again, dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. But we do have Taurus, Libra, Aquarius and Scorpio popping out here as well. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me the final outcome to the question? How? Thank you and thank you. This person, okay, so I feel that many of you are going to be overanalyzing, okay, uh, over overanalyzing whatever it is you're wishing, praying and hoping for. Again, Gemini popping out here. Remember what we were saying uh, with regards to um, whatever you are manifesting, um, keep positive, okay, keep positive with whatever it is you're manifesting. The truth is, remember, pure Clear out your mind, declutter your mind. There's no need to be in this um, entrapment. Whatever you're manifesting, you're manifesting a new beginning. It's coming, okay? Two aces here, divine intervention. Uh, this person loves you, yeah? You're waiting, you are waiting for this person to come in to see if they are going to uh, put the work in to the pentacles that already have, are the seeds that have already um, been planted in this connection. It's like you're wait, waiting um, to reap the rewards um, of what you have sown with this connection. And I feel that this person is coming towards you. So you're going to get what you want. Yeah. A little bit of uh, mental kind of torture, overthinking. But you have the you have the power to break out of that cage. And let's clarify. Please, can you clarify the final outcome cards uh, for our Libras, please? My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. So, yeah, look, this person is manifesting change. Manifesting change and manifesting that you come with them on this new path, which we said that something new is happening. It's like you're being guided to believe in something new. Clear out. Your thinking, declutter your mind, believe in the purity. Yeah, this person sees you as their nine of cups, their happiness, their wish fulfillment. Well, we saw uh, with the ten of cups that you complete them. Yeah, you complete them. You are their happiness. Let's continue. Thank you. And then we've got them coming towards you uh, with a cup of love. That same cup. 
if they were a little bit um umming and ahhing um they are um leveling up to come in upgrades from a knight to a king let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please thank you i feel that uh many of you i feel that many of you are overthinking that this is going to end up in some sort of breakup or you feel quite disconnected from this person and i feel that this was this area here that we're, where we were clarifying your what you're i think you're going to be thinking about you're manifesting this new beginning but it's almost as if you are you just don't want this breakup you don't want to feel disconnected from this person and that's why i feel you're going to get clarity around um october november december like okay are we on the same page are we both going to fight for this are we both he heading towards long-term commitment marriage because many of you want to give to this connection but you're overthinking like well i don't want to give to this connection if it's not going anywhere yeah you're definitely moving out of uh choppy waters with this person into karma waters and moving forward all right so i feel that you're going to get the answers you're going to you're going to know the truth you're going to know the truth of the intentions of this person when you seek it and final um clarification card please and this card wanted to come up oh wow you could have Aries in your chart or you could have Aries. I feel many of you are going to take the take the lead, basically. Take control of your emotions in terms of, OK, this is really great, great that we are finding this happiness and we're enjoying each other's company. But hold on a minute. Let me just take let, let me just take control of my emotions for a minute. Let's talk. Let's make sure that we're on the same page here. OK, so it's like you are definitely going to be the leader talking to this person saying, right, OK, this is fantastic. Right. What's your intentions? Which I don't feel is anything wrong in that at all. OK, you just want clarity because you've gone for a bit of a roller coaster with this person. All right. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. Oh, well. Well, a crown, a royal crown. The crown. I am a good leader, <laughs> didn't I say? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Um, that is fantastic. Um, so that emperor, one hundred percent Libra, is you. You know what? You just not even following it. You, you, do you know what? You love this person. You know that this is your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. All right, but you are so taking the lead and like, do you know what? boyfriend girlfriend let me just check we're on the same page here and it's saying that um your spirit team are like almost giving you the advice almost i feel them like clapping their hands like well done you're going to take the lead you're going to do the right thing you're going to seek the truth okay um and that is part of your enlightenment that's part of your wisdom okay kicking in you of course you're gonna you don't want to be um you know brought into any kind of false sense of securement secu secu um, false sense of security you're gonna answer a bloody question i don't blame you um please can you tell me your <laughs> you guys must have some sort of aries in your chart because that's just so typical aries just no bullshit no bullshit like anyway so you're a good leader. You're going to take the lead and it's going to be the right thing. It's the right thing to do. Uh, thank you. And what have we got here? Oh, look. Yeah. Um, party, partying with magic. I don't have to know everything all the time. So do you know what? You're going to ask the fundamental, most important question. Are we on the same page? And then that's it you're just gonna let it go you're just gonna party with it enjoy it you don't need to know everything but you just want to know in the offset that the two of you are on the same page that's all i feel that there's nothing wrong with that after that you don't need it's like you're happy to go with the flow and just dance and party um with this 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 connection and i feel that that is that is what your your spirit team are coming in they're saying just you don't need to know everything um ask the fundamental question be that leader and then just go with the flow of it. My angels and spirit, thank you. Oh, look at that. Fly, fly free. I receive messages from nature easily. Yeah. 
Look at that. It's the magic that surrounds you, you know. Do you remember I was saying that many of you, this positive change coming in and you, it's like you're connecting deeper with divine spirit universe, your higher self. Many of you during this enlightenment, during this receiving truth, you might actually get messages, signs, synchronicities, dreams. Um, yeah, you're going to receive messages effortlessly, Libra. Um, for 2022 and it's it's the depth of your evolution spiritually yeah you guys may have had to apply a lot of patience with this person i don't know all of your journeys but you may have had to apply a lot of patience and it almost feels as if many of you i feel as if you you grew spiritually all right just one more card i'm not going to chat too much more um this is a divine message a message from divine spirit for you and you've given they've given me two or yeah divine's given me two so oh wow look at this oh this is so beautiful this almost wraps up your reading it says love is patient and kind did i not tell you this person was bringing you the lesson of patient of patience love is patient and kind love is not jealous or boastful it is not arrogant or rude love does not insist on its own way it is not irritable or resentful it does not rejoice at wrong but rejoices in the right love bears all things believes all things hopes all things endures all things and that's first corinthians 13 um verses four to seven so this absolutely encapsulates the love that you have for each other it's almost as if it's it's an eternal everlasting love it's a divine love it's a divine love and your bonus message uh, divine wanted for you is for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind. Second Tim Timothy, uh, verse uh, five, seven. So it's almost as if divine is saying, um, I have not put this person in your path to um, provoke fear, to give you fear. It's, 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 it's giving you the power of love. It's giving you the power of uh, sound mind, clarity, drawing you close to your higher self, to divine, to spirit, to seek divine spirit when you are uncertain to get the clarity. Hence why that's why I feel uh, many of you um, are going to be um, getting those messages because it feels as if that's what you've turned to. You've turned to divine spirit, universe, your higher self for answers. And it's like divine is saying, I didn't put this person in your life or bring you into union with your twin flame your ultimate soulmate to create fear it was to empower you with love and a sound mind beautiful really really beautiful libras what a pleasure pleasurable reading i'm going to leave that there for you um i wish you all a happy 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 new year if it resonates this message please click that thumbs up button and um, subscribe if you haven't done so already um, sending you loads and loads and loads and loads of love peace and light and i really do pray that you guys have a, an abundant blessed 2022 because this looks really really beautiful you take care bye bye